Hi, this is Dustin Hookstra with AWR, and I'll be going over some of the new features in version 13. First feature I'd like to go over is a new PCB import tool that we added to our software, and it allows us to use our best-in-class EM simulators to simulate these PCB designs that are being imported into our software. So I'll open up AWR and bring in this new project. And so you'll find under the wizards category a new one called PCB import, which is, access which is accessible uh, anytime you have an EM license checked out. So if you open up this one, it gives you the option to choose which format you want to use. We now support IPC 2581 and ODB++, and we continue to support the 3DI PC board format. So for this example, I'll be choosing IPC 2581, and now I just need to browse to my file, my XML file, and pick the type of document that it is. Uh, after I've chosen that, I can choose which layers from that PCB design that I want to have imported. So I'm choosing some selectively which ones I think will be important for EM simulation. Next, it gives me a list of all the nets that are part of that PCB design. Uh, for the purpose of demonstration, I'm just going to leave them all checked and bring in everything. And lastly, I'll be given the option to make any adjustments I want to the stack up. All the stack up information is populated automatically based on the PCB uh, import file. And here all the information is given and this is fully editable if I need to make any changes. Once that's all done, I click on OK and I get my PC board completely input here. Um, if I want to look at what the schematic view is of this, it's just the stack up. So it has all that information that we just saw a moment ago uh, in the dialog. So all the dielectric information, all the material definitions, all the, spec all the thicknesses of the metals, all the EM layer mapping already set up. So now what we can do is switch over to uh, deciding what we want to look at in terms of doing the EM simulation. So let's say this is where our, our device under test is, and we want to do some EM simulation of the output match. So I'm going to select this part of the circuit right here. You can see this is highlighted now. And then I'm going to go to Draw, Create EM Clip Region. And now I get a few choices as to what my clip region style will be. And I'm just going to choose a bounding box that's two millimeters away from the outside of it. So it means it's going to draw a box around what I selected with a little two millimeter buffer area around it. So you can see this white cutout region. Now I can go to layout and say copy to EM structure. And now it's going to prompt me to pick which EM simulator I want to use. So I'm going to choose Axiom because I think that's best for this problem. That's our 3D planar EM solver that uses method of moments. It's going to ask me if, which stack up to pick. So I'm going to stick the, pick the stack up that was automatically created from the board file. Next, I'll be prompted to choose which ports I want to use. It's going to automatically place ports for me at the ends of each of these nets. For this demonstration, I'll just keep them all checked. And I click on OK. It's now made an EM document for me, set up all the ports, and now I'm at the point where I'm ready to simulate. And if we go back to our original document, Right here, um, we did a quick experiment where we played around with the ground planes around the structure to see how they would affect things. So here, as we saw a moment ago, was our imported design. And we did it with, here we did it with uh, no EM, no ground plane around it, no ground flood, and here we did it with the ground flood. And as you can see, if you look at the Smith chart here, you can see the results are virtually identical between those two. So as you can see, we started with an IPC 2581 file and went from that to an EM SIM and AWR within just a matter of moments. And that concludes this demonstration of the new PCB import feature in V13 of AWR.